Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend D.G. Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This That or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month. We'll video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Jeremy Adams, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. In brightest day. In blackest nights. No evil shall escape my sight. But those who worship evil's might. Beware my power. Green Lantern's light. Hello and welcome back to Sector 2814, the Green Lantern podcast. <laughs> I am Phil. Joining me, as always, Master of the Cord is... I am Will. Hey, everyone. And today we'll be talking uh, Green Lantern Core 20 through 22, which we'll get into this. Uh, uh, some of the order, the the order of some of these stories, and I don't know what was going on behind the scenes, but we'll get into all that. And I was gonna say I don't have my Green Lantern issue yet, but next week I will have a review of Green Lantern Four for you. Awesome. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I was trying to think of what else is new. Oh, um, well, if, for those of you who may be interested, I did send you that picture yesterday when uh, Luke and I went in the Hallmark. We are up at the mall. They do have a Green Lantern power battery Christmas ornament for those of you who may be interested in that sort of thing. And it does look pretty cool. Yeah. And like, I don't know if you could see the price from the <laughs> angle I took the picture. It's only like 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. Like you know, with Hallmark, nice. I'm always expecting like a major price tag. Yeah, I'm like, oh, twenty bucks. Because I mean, it looked. I mean, I didn't pick it up or anything, but I mean, it looked like not like a little. You know, it's going to fall apart. It looked pretty thick, solid to me. Awesome. Yeah, I may have to. Uh, I may have to give that a look. See. Uh, heck, we'll if see. you <laughs> heck, if you wanted to give those for presents, I mean, if you could like print like three D print those power, but that big power battery behind you but like on a smaller scale that that's pretty much what it was it looked like cool that's not a bad idea i'll have to keep that in mind well, i'll talk to my son <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say if it's inexpensive enough and be like here here's your christmas present <laughs> power batteries for everyone oh my <laughs> uh, oh did so you, how you doing man oh good 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 how are you <sighs> it's good to be home it's yes be home. <laughs> oh hey hey did you watch um the uh, premiere of Quantum Leap. We can't seem to get it. It wants it, it wants us to pay for the episode, even if we try Peacock or what? NBC. I know it. Or you have to put in, you know, what's your local cable provider or oh, Hulu, Hulu yeah, Plus. I'm like, yeah. come on, man! It's broadcast television. Yeah, you, you know what? You know, like we, it to be broadcast to me. You can't get it like you can't get it on demand or anything or. I think it's gonna, yeah. I, huh. It looks like it's going to charge, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. But I really, really want to see it. Uh, we did watch the uh, final episode of Ahsoka, mm. which zombie, kind of zombie storm, zombie stormtroopers, <laughs> zombie stormtroopers. Yeah, um, and if I remember correctly, the the he's not a Sith, but he's the master of uh, the other, you know, the other set of Jedi, yeah. the other set of Force users. I think that that actor died recently, oh. um, but I think I think that's what my wife was telling me. But oh. I need to double check that. Uh, but I'm like, well, great. What was his story? Because his story doesn't end. How how's that going to be dealt with? Right? <laughs> he 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 changed his appearance using the dark side of the force. <laughs> exactly. Or so. I mean, it was. Yeah. I mean, it I was an interesting. Yeah, I enjoyed the series, but it's like I I didn't watch a lot. I have to go back and watch like all the animated stuff, like uh, what was that Clone yeah. Wars and stuff. Yeah, I didn't watch a lot of that. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's what the boys keep telling me, Dad. You got to watch Clone Wars, and we're like half a season in, and we're like, ugh, this is not. Because you got to the, the first season, you got to wait till this episode, and then it gets better. It's more adult after that. Mm. Blah blah blah. I'm like, okay. We'll get to it when we get to it, okay? <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard from people that are like, oh, yeah, you get a much more, you know, uh, a, a better watching experience if you watch it. I'm like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll have to add it to the list. Okay. Exactly, add it to the list. <laughs> I mean, it was good. I mean, I thought, every, you know, they did a good job with it. 
And again, it seems like they're taking like a different take. You know, it's something other than Skywalker or like uh, Mandalorian. So, I mean, I, it seems like they, you know, it was all be stormtroopers. Although I was like, wait a minute. So they can't bite anybody because they have those helmets on. I was like, hey. <laughs> Do I, and, and Stace asked, uh, this is my wife. She goes, so now that they're zombies, is their aim better? Oh, <laughs> that's what I was about to say. I mean, with or without the helmets, does that mean they can't, they, they uh, miss when they bite? Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Good point. I mean, I don't think they're even getting any worse. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, yeah, any Green Lantern news? I don't think. Uh, again, we got two, you know, we got the regular Green Lantern book, got the War Journal, which I think is a uh, mini- I wonder how far it uh, is. The, the Golden Age Green Lantern is coming out soon, as well as the Golden Age Flash book, I think. Is yeah. That... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, because I think this week, I think they, because they're doing a Sandman book, too. I think this, I think Sandman's coming out this week, so. Ah. Yeah, so uh, the other one, uh, the other one should be coming out here soon. No. Uh, when I look this up here. Should have all these dates in front of me, <laughs> especially all the shows I do. <laughs> Yes, Alan Scott, The Green Lantern, number one, comes out, oh, October 24th. Ah, okay, so in a couple weeks. Yep. Cool. So, yeah, what was that, like, two weeks or so? Yeah, like, two weeks, yeah. That's not bad, so. Regular Green Lantern, oh, that'd be nice if they did regular Green Lantern this week, if, if they could give us, like, War Journal next week or something, you know, big, like, space And then amount, Alan so. Scott the next week, yeah, that's three weeks straight, that's awesome. So if you, <laughs> you could get, like, uh, three out of the four weeks a month, if we could get a Green Lantern book for a while, that'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's written by Tim Sheridan, okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm interested to see that, but that's a nice, that's a decent cover. <laughs> uh... Oh, I know what I was. Uh, I was also looking up. I was trying. I was gonna say, how far ahead do they solicit issues? But uh, yeah, Green Lantern six. They got to solicit up for uh, December twelfth. Mm, how Jordan versus Sinestro. Now more dangerous than ever. It's come down to this: How Jordan, Earth's Green Lantern, finally faces off against his former mentor, Sinestro, whose power to instill fear has been replaced with an elemental rage that could level the planet he once swore to protect. What? <laughs> oh no! I just saw the cover. I think uh, Sinestro's got a red ring. Will, do you know you're muted? <laughs> but yes, kids, it looks like Sinestro may have a red ring here. At least on the cover of Green Lantern 6, so. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can. That was weird. I don't know. This this system is just being weird today. I don't know what the heck's going on with it. So, you yeah, know what? Either a, could be a setting, could be, yeah, internet. I mean, maybe your head, headphones are going, who knows? technology isn't it great technology. yeah it's awesome it's the best but yeah <laughs> like i said the cover of green lantern 6 looks like sinestro may have a red ring now that's pretty cool we're upcoming yeah because that uh that means the uh the other cores are still out there right uh-huh yep. kind of think that three or four of them are but we don't know about the other side of the spectrum so and what's that what's that yellow side of the spectrum gonna think if they see sinestro with a red ring exactly <laughs> you know, and I'm actually kind of curious because I didn't, I wasn't reading kind of post New 52 uh, in Green Lantern. And, you know, Sinestro as Green Lantern lasted quite a while. So I'm, mm. I mean, uh, you know, when we get to that point, which is going to be next year, mm. <laughs> but uh, I'm curious to see, see how that uh, unfolds. I wonder too. I want. I mean, I'm sure he's a busy man. I wonder if I reach out to Jeremy Adams again if he would show up for that one. And be like, okay, we're like six issues in. You know, let's let <laughs> let's talk. Let's let's let's, let's have a checkpoint. <laughs> we have a red ring. Yes. And let's see. That one will come out in two months. That'll be around Christmas time, won't it? It's. I think it said December twelfth. So yeah, it'll be like yeah, middle of December. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. So all, almost two months exactly from the yes, this point. So very cool. So do we have some guy Gardner issues to talk about or something? <laughs> no, <laughs> we do. <laughs> oh yeah, we kind of do. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least the one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird with these ones tonight because it's like we can't like issue twenty is like what is it? It's Ring Quest Part One. 
mm-hmm. and then we won't get the rest of Ring Quest until next week because then the twenty one and twenty two are like a self contained like two parter. Yeah, two parter with uh, Bellatrix, right? Uh, yeah, Budi- yeah, Bo- Budica. Budica, sorry, yeah, Budica. yeah, yeah, not yeah. Bellatrix. yeah. So that's so it's weird. So I don't know. Wonder if there was like a scheduling conflict, or if you know someone couldn't make a deadline, or you know something happened. You think? Yeah, it, it, it's interesting that they would start that and then interrupt it with two issues, and then yeah, yeah. All right. So okay, I don't I don't have a big synopsis for this, but uh, Green Lantern Core number twenty, March two thousand eight, Ring Quest Part One. Like I said, we'll get the rest next week. Writer Peter Tomasi, pencilers Patrick Gleason and Carlos Magno. Uh, your one, two, your five inkers: Drew Garassi, Prentice <laughs> Rollins, Rodney Ramos, Tom Guyon, and Rebecca Bachman. Your two colorists: Guy Major and Moose Bauman. Letterer: Steve Wands, and editors: Eddie Berganza and Adam Schlaman. So yes, five inkers and two colorists and two pencilers on this thing. Wow, that's uh... for a regular size issue. For <laughs> <laughs> after the big event, yes. Yeah, I guess they're catching up, right? I guess. <laughs> All right. Like I said, real quick uh, synopsis. Monka was briefed by his ring about the Sinestro Corps while Guy and Cal decide to move to Oa and start up a bar. Oh, it sounds like a sitcom. Exactly. <laughs> there are some pretty good moments in this issue. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, kids. Uh I think we talked about it at the end of Sinestro Corp. So Mongol has found the yellow ring. Well, the current Mongol, because we're already at the point where I forget who did it. They started in the Superman books or what. But uh, at one point they showed like, you know, Mongol was just an like, on, ongoing line where eventually like the son kills the father and just they're all called Mongol. So it's like Mongol who what, you know, Mongol who is killed Mongol who was. And yeah, yeah. it's it basically. <laughs> and he really didn't like his sister, but. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, fa- the all the fathers and sons are always named Mongol. It's almost like a murderous version of uh, George Foreman's family. <laughs> nice. Thank you. God, I mean, I'm I, I'm I'm named after my father, but can, I can't just I can't imagine having siblings and we're all named after the father. I mean, that's. <laughs> can you imagine you named your two sons Will William? I know that would be weird. <laughs> it's, like, it's like William, which one? <laughs> or your wife goes, William, which one? <laughs> yeah, there's three of us here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that's the whole Mongol thing is kind of weird. But the son didn't kill the father. Somebody else killed Mongol, right? The Mongol that destroyed Coast City. Ah, uh, did they? I can't remember. Uh... Because at this point, I think we've uh, was it Philip Kennedy Johnson's action comics. There's there's one somebody wrote one story not too long ago where like yeah, they've we've, they went through a couple of generations. They were like ki- killing Mongols. So I think this oh. the one we're reading about tonight may have already be gone. But yeah, I can't remember who killed the old man. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's quite a thing. Uh, sorry, kids, I'm stalling. I'm, over, I'm I should have had the issue open. I'm trying to open it now. Oh. Oh, that was it for the synopsis. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what I said. That's all the synopsis they gave me. Okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. well, so I do want to talk about the scenes with Salak. Yes, because those are awesome. <laughs> I love when he's talking to the guy and Cal, and like Cal's like, you know, you're making it. You're, you know, what is it? Something you're like it. Worse. You, got, you got him so small. Well, he hangs around with he hangs around with the Smurfs. So <laughs> <laughs> I know oh, that was good. Oh, and just, uh, oh, yeah, that every, you know, basically Kyle and Guy have to tell Hal and John, like, oh, yeah, we're going to Noah, uh, you know. And it's basically like, oh, well, you're not running away from, you know, like your mother's death and stuff, Kyle, and, you know, this guy running away from, uh, Ice. Ice. <laughs> yeah. Who, I mean, those two weren't even together for a while, so it's like, I. Yeah, it's, and it's an interesting kind of team up, you know, because they, they, had known each other from the previous series because, you know, Kyle would go in and talk to, you know, they would have their weekly mm-hmm. poker game or storytelling session or whatever it was. And, uh, I thought it was an interesting pairing. Yes. And then, you know, getting them both. It, and for one, it, it really brings, because up until Sinestro Corps war, Kyle was kind of unmoored. I mean, he had the ion book, but then ion was taken away from him during, you know, Sinestro Corps. 
war. So, you know, this, this feels like a, a new, a new direction for Kyle as an honor guard. And I think, you know, it's bringing him into the core book so that, you know, really it's going to be his, his and Guy's book for the most part Mm -hmm. with, you know, the other lanterns, although not necessarily. I mean, for the next two issues, we get a, you know, a Boudicca. Yes. Story, which is interesting because we're, we're delving a little bit more into the alpha lanterns. Um, now at the end of the 222, Ring Quest continues, but doesn't also the Alpha Lantern story continue as well? Oh, yeah. I mean, the Alpha Lanterns are going to be going for a while, but yeah, again, it's. I haven't done the. I haven't reread yet, but yeah, it's like, yeah, so it's like this issue, the two Boudicca issues, and then, yeah, I think it, yeah, we'll get back to Ring Quest and Mongol, and yeah, I think Alpha Lanterns are still going to be around for a while. Because again, next time we get back to the regular book, it's going to be Secret Origin, so. Yeah, exactly. And that's seven months of stuff that's happening in the past. So the, the current book is, is out of commission for seven months as we lead up to, you know, the, the, the beginnings of the War of Light, right? Mm-hmm. With, you know, everything going on. Plus Final Crisis, I think, is, 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 the, is about to begin or has already begun. Wait, which one? Final Crisis. Um, let me see final i can't i kind of you know, trying to remember what month i know because i think we mentioned maybe their last dish episode or one before but yeah final crisis it's starting here soon I, uh yeah because i know we get the one shot the you know final crisis rage of the red lanterns yeah i do have that on the schedule uh bu- 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 final crisis number one oh uh july 2008 so yeah we're about f- uh four months out yeah okay Cool. From issue 20. Yeah, issue 20. Yeah. So there's a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, especially since Green Lantern Corps really has to kind of carry carry the work right now for the current Green Lantern stuff. Yes. You know, because the yeah. current series is, you know, all happening in the past at this point. So... You know what? I, I wonder if they threw that Boudicca two parter in there. I wonder if they were sh- if they had they realized, oh, we got to kill some time before Final Crisis, maybe. Maybe I mean, and then we get the Final Crisis one shot, which you know is on our, our list as well, yeah. which you know has Hal, I believe has Hal in it. Uh, you know, along with most of the rest of the core. I mean, it's, it's a pretty big deal, I think, as the the Red, the Red Lantern show up. But then right after the end of Secret Origin, you know, we're diving right into each of the other other cores right you know? yeah and, and each of those get their arc before finally you know blackest night happens mm. so uh green lantern core is doing a lot of work right now uh you know well during during this time because you know they're, they're bringing kyle in so you know that's a, you know, so you've got kyle and guy um you've got all the other subplots going on plus the all of the you know repercussions from the sinestro core war so there's really a lot going on in, in the Green Lantern Corps book that, you know, these three issues kind of hint at some things, you know, other things that are going on, mm-hmm. um, you know, besides just being, you know, and, and these are good stories. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm at a bit of a loss right now because I don't really remember what happens next. So I, uh, I'm curious to see how these kind of fit into that ring quest and, you know, the rest of the yeah. alpha lantern story. Yeah. It's been a while since I read these too. So yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's fresh for me. Cause it's been a while since I read these. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I opened that up and then I put it down. All right. Uh, sorry. I just wanted to look at 20, see if there's anything else in here. I wanted to. Yeah. The, the, the guy and Kyle and the Salak scene was, was pretty awesome. I thought that was really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Salak's always great playing the straight man. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it's like, oh, when Cal's sitting around in his apartment, I'm like, since when does he have an apartment? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I thought that was the whole thing with Ion. And, it, you know, he was, you know, he wasn't living at, at Randu's, Radu's building. I'm like, well, where, where's he at? Yeah, exactly. And it was, I, I did like the exchange between him and Guy, you know, because they've really kind of, they, during Sinestro, I mean, they've always been kind of closer, but then they really kind of bonded during the Sinestro Corps War, I think. Because mm-hmm. like, no, I had Thai, you know, we had Indian food last night. You know, how about Italian? No, I had it uh, takeout at lunch. You know, 
okay, Thai food it is. All right, cool. See you. And they just, you know, they just go. <laughs> I know. I, oh my lord and uh when uh, mongols standing there saying uh you know telling the ring you know tell me about your powers and limitations and the ring says process would take approximately 96 hours he goes time does not concern me continue so he's still there for days <laughs> yeah it's just like yeah tell me all about you <laughs> yep well, at least he's patient four days straight uh Oh, but I love when uh, Salak's asking uh, guys, like, you know, how do you pr- pr- intend to perform your duties and, you know, uh, and own it because he wants to start Warriors, that, you know, mm-hmm. on Oa and stuff. He's like, yeah, you know, and, and uh, do all your responsibilities as an honor guard. And guys like, oh, we'll figure it out, Cracker Jack. And uh, <laughs> then Salak's like, Salak's like, how do you intend to pay for construction and maintenance if I do indeed grant you permission, Cracker Jack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then you know and uh, then when he says you know yeah we're moving here and, and then Salak just starts laughing you know <laughs> you know, he doesn't I can never tell if you apes are serious does he say apes or uh, where is this uh, I'm trying to find where he says it uh, oh, I can't find where he says it oh wait uh, I don't think he oh, wait, uh, I don't think uh, I don't think I see an ape but he does say well, at least the entertainment value of your presence alone will be worth putting up with your relocation. Because <laughs> I, I at one point before they leave, Hal's like, oh, you know they don't get any uh, cable television or like college football yeah. there, right? <laughs> it's, so that guy asks Salak, he's like, one more thing. He's like, can we get cable TV or stations up here, right? <laughs> I would think that that could be arranged with, you know, Owen Tech, but you know. <laughs> No, it's best when uh, Cal says, hey, come on, Salak, give me a little credit. Do I look that crazy and stupid? And Salak, I have to say, most Earthmen's facial construction tends to force me to answer in the, in the affirmative. <laughs> yes, that's what it was. That yes. was really That was good. That was really good. Uh, but yeah, when they say they, yeah, they're going to move up to Oa and, you know, Guy says, we found the place. And Salak, that's what Salak goes together and Cal. And Kyle goes, no, come on, Sal, give me a little credit. Do I look that crazy and stupid? (laughs) It's like, it's like, it's like, no, I'm not gay. And if I was, I could do a lot better than him. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, This, you know, this issue was really just kind of a nice. Yeah. Little quiet, you know, breather between Sinestro Core War. It kind of setting up for, you know, you know, all in this book's becoming a uh, guy and cow book. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it's a really good issue. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then the Guardians are tracking those yellow rings who are looking for more hosts, and they're, like, disappearing. Yep, exactly. I wonder what, gosh, what could be going on, Phil? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I'm but that, sure we'll find out. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess they can, like, custom, like, it, like living quarters on Oa, but, like, when Kyle's, like, you know, standing in that empty, it looks like a regular apartment when he's, like, hanging his mother's painting and stuff. I'm like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Could even look like you know, there's like it might be those little dots. There. It looks like it might be electrical outlets and everything. I'm like, man, I mean, it just looks like it's like something they on just Earth. An Earth building, yeah. Uh, Why would they do that? <laughs> oh yeah, because Mongo asks uh, the ring. Are there any? How many rings are currently seeking a hand? And uh, the ring says, "What it said, uh, twenty-seven. Ah. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, then he basically swears, you know. Mm, gonna make his father proud and worlds await my coming and yeah that's the end he takes off with that ring and even says at the end it's like you know mongol shows up next in uh green lantern core 23 so yeah <laughs> next week it... all right so any other thoughts on this one william no i thought it was a, a really nice breather issue yeah no for yeah for not a lot yeah it's it was entertaining all right uh with the next two i have a synopsis for the first one but not the second one so I I can do the synopsis for the first one, then we can just if you want to talk through both of them. But yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, because this is kind of a two part fill in here, kids. Uh, all right, so Green Lantern Corps number twenty one, April two thousand eight, the Curse of the Alpha Lantern, part one. <laughs> Writer Sterling Gates, who uh, I think they even say in the uh, like the solicitor or whatever. I think he was writing Supergirl at the time. So oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I think he might have even uh, did some writing for the TV show Supergirl, I think. so. Oh, cool. Yeah, so Sterling Gates is the writer, penciler Nelson DeCastro, 
Anchor Nelson DeCastro. So, penciler and anchor Nelson DeCastro. Colorist Guy Major, letterer Steve Wands, and editors, yeah, again, uh, Adam Schlaman and Eddie Berganza. Uh, Alpha Lantern Boudica is sent to Sector 2937 to determine why Green Lantern Harvid has failed to apprehend the Sinestro Corps member, Hasp. They get into a fight with a contingent of Manhunters, and Boudica uses her new Alpha Lantern technology to deprogram them. She questions Harvid, who confesses that apprehending Hasp has proven difficult for him because he is his brother. Ah, uh, foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> Boudica warns him that if he feels his loyalty to the core is in question, she will have him suspended. Boudica returns to Oa, and the Guardians have a new mission for her. Tomar, too, is concerned over the radical changes that have affected these new Alpha Lanterns. Graf Torin tells him the story of how Boudica first became a Green Lantern. She was once a valued member of the Blood Sisters of Bellatrix. The Blood Sisters defended their homeworld against spacefaring pirates such as Cronin. As time went on, however, Boudica felt that the actions of her, sis as of her sisterhood had grown too mercenary and that they had lost sight of their true calling. To that end, she left her planet to join the Green Lantern Corps. In the central meeting room, the Guardians give Boudica her new instructions. She is to investigate a string of disappearing starships last seen in Sector 1414. The Green Lantern of the Sector has failed to report in. Boudica flies to 1414 and lands on Bellatrix. She finds that the new Green Lantern of Sector 1414 is Zale, one of her sisters from Bellatrix. The reunion is bittersweet as Zale reminds Boudica that she was to never return to her home planet after abandoning the Blood Sisters. <laughs> so... Yeah, kid. So, and, and then part two is basically, uh, yes, having to deal with her sister. You know, <laughs> siblings, man, siblings. Yeah, and after, <laughs> yeah, after like a fight and everything. Yeah, she takes her back to Oa, and you know, then the guardians like, nah, your sister's gonna stay in Green Lantern. Yeah, there, there is some weird, some weird stuff with the guardians. You know, like uh, when they send Boudica out, you know, or what we ask them to do, blah, and like, well, I, I don't understand. <laughs> in this case. They're asking her to go check on a Green Lantern. I mean, I don't understand. <laughs> Have they asked her to do other things? Or are they going to ask her to do something? It just it was yes. a weird kind of thing just right there in the issue, you know? Yeah, and again, I know it's for shock value for, like, the end of the first issue. But it's like, shouldn't she be like, oh, well, you know, the new Green Lantern's her sister. You know, go, you better go check on her. Yeah, so... Although I think, yeah, they, I, although I think it was a loyalty test too to make sure she was Alpha Land, you know, Alpha Lantern. Yeah, because they give her her second ring, and then they give yes. the sister her badge her or whatever. Badge. Yeah, yeah. Except, which is weird. And but then they make her but they don't give the sister a power battery. She has to recharge off of Boudica. Boudica. Yeah, <laughs> and they make her beholden only to Boudica, and she does, so Kilowog doesn't train her at all. Oh yeah, which, yeah. Which I thought it was really kind of weird. You yeah, know? but I mean, no offense to the writer, but I again, it's like that's a it's a guest writer, so it's like is or I, I'm trying I, again. I can't rem I haven't reread yet, so I can't remember what's coming up. There, or is that intentional? Where it's like, oh yeah, we're not entrusting the sister to kill Wog or anyone else. It's you know, she's Boudica's problem. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I guess we're gonna see though. No. <laughs> Oh, and the end of the the end of the second issue pretty much brings us to like kind of where we left off last week, where it's like, "Where's Lara? Ah, uh, Red Ring took her." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, I'm surprised you didn't mention it, Phil, but oh. you know, we we did get a Hal appearance in here. Oh yeah, so that's almost about to ask you. I was going <laughs> to at the beginning of the second issue. Yeah, 22. Uh, uh, they do do that flashback of Boudica and Hal during Emerald uh, Twilight. I, I'm sure you love that, Will. Yeah, it's just awesome. Yeah, you know, he cuts her arm right off. Because <laughs> I forget, is it the first or second issue, aren't they? You know, when uh, Tomar 2 and Graf Torn are, you know, talking to her, they're like, oh, oh, you're emotionless now? So I guess you, for, you know, you harbor no more resentment towards Hal Jordan. I'm like, <laughs> like <laughs> I, of course, love Hal Jordan. I was going to say, that I, resentment will live forever. I was going to say, <laughs> I, know, I know Will still resents Emerald Twilight 30 years later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. 
you can draw it no. Did right. lead to, it did lead to some interesting things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, I mean, they're really steered into that skit. It's like, oh yeah, Parallax is in Hal Jordan. Man, he looks like an old man. I think. <laughs> like, <laughs> He's got the gray. <laughs> not even that. I thought I just thought his face, but I don't know, unless that's just the artist. But I'm just like, man, Hal Jordan. Hal's looking old here compared to what he looks like, you know, now. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I thought these were two. Uh, these. It's really like a single issue and a two parter. And I thought this this two issue, it the story it was good, but it didn't really feel it didn't feel like the Green Lantern core title to me. You know, it didn't have yeah. that same feel because, I mean, obviously it's a different writer, but um, stylistically it just felt different. Yeah, and again, since it's a fill-in, and if they, if it was a, uh, if it was a last-minute thing, I wonder how familiar Sterling Gates was with like current events and Green Lantern books. Maybe they just gave him the highlights and stuff, you know, just. Yeah, because this this uh, story really is is kind of timeless. You know, it happens after Alpha Lanterns, but before. You know, the yeah. Red Ring finds Lyra. Well, that's the thing. They even, like, reprint this out of order because it's, uh, because I guess the, uh, Ring Quest, they kept that all together when they reprinted it. This, they reprinted in, uh, Green Lantern Corps Revolt of the Alpha Lanterns. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Because it's saying here, this, uh, 21 and 22, uh, are. It says here, 21 and 22 are not in chronological order and, and are best read directly before issue 48. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, this came way early. So <laughs> that's interesting. Uh-huh. And do I have that there? Uh, Revenge of the Alpha Lantern. Gr- Green Lantern Core Forty Eight from July Twenty Ten. So they're saying, oh yeah, this thing it comes like two <laughs> two years from now. Yeah, two years early. That's interesting. I'll have to check. Uh, I don't think that those are hard covers. I think they're. I think they're trades. I'll yeah. have to check my trade up there and see what I see what I see in there. Yeah, I was gonna say it's it's saying uh, the revolt of the alpha. Yeah, it's it's, it's just saying a trade. So, mm-hmm. mm, yeah, trade paperback. So yeah, so uh, maybe that's part of the problem too. Maybe this comes, you know, they figure out oh, this should come way down the line here. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is weird because in two years we already know all about the Red Lanterns. You know, so that little thing at the end. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe except for that, maybe because, yeah, because, I mean, that last scene is really tied into what we did last week and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they throw that page because it's really just a page. Maybe they throw that in with one of the other collections, another, you know, part of those other issues. Yeah, because some of this, it seems like it's kind of like taking place at the same time as, uh, you know, the Green Lantern issues we did last week, you know, especially that last scene in the second issue. Yeah. Exactly. Cause, oh, because they even mentioned it. Was it in the first? Was it was in 21 or 22 because they do mention they're like, oh, yeah, Lara's trowel and stuff. So, yeah. I, uh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Because, yeah, she, uh, Boudicca says, it was your testimony. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, that uh, got her on trial for her. And, you know, they're like, well, that's not really helping. You know? <laughs> Thanks. Exactly. <laughs> So that's the thing. I mean, like, uh, maybe just for trade purposes, maybe they just stuck this in revolt of the uh, uh, Alpha Lanterns. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. It's, it, but you're right. It does have that. It does have a really timeless quality to it, except for you know that last page. You know, and they can yeah. talk about Lyra because that. Yeah. Whatever, but yeah. Yeah, you're kind of bringing up current events, so it's like, mm-hmm. eh, you know. Well, and you know, last week we talked about the fates of the Lost Lanterns, but you know, Tomar too. Yeah. One of, uh, and oh yeah, Graf Torn, yeah. Graf Torn. So you know, not all of the Lost Lanterns became Alpha Lanterns. Yeah. It's just a lot of them are either dead or Alpha Lanterns, or both. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Once again, what was that selection process? I don't know. Yeah. Again, because that whole you know. Or maybe they were like, you know, these are the ones who can overcome, like, instead of fear, overcome emotion or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, as Sinestro said, you know, he, he won. Yeah. And he knows exactly how the Guardians are going to react. And the Guardians are scared, right? Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Plus, we had that scene last week where uh, Scar, you know, had the, the, the symbol for the black lantern in her, you know, oh, eyes, yeah. one of the green lanterns. So black as night is, is coming. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and this is a good, 
year and a half before Blackest Night, right? Uh, it's a, or at least a year. Why me? Uh, hold on, let me bring up the uh, list here. Because, yeah, because remember, we're starting uh, first week of January. So, for Green Lantern issues, uh, Green Lantern 43 is the first uh, Blackest Night issue for the regular Green Lantern book, 43. So. And we're only up to... We just did 20, 26, what, 26, 27, 28 last week, so... So that's a year, that's a year, yeah, that's over a year. So, yeah, the, I mean, that's something I think that's, that the the whole team, Green Lantern, Green Lantern Corps, really should get a lot of props for, because the build-up... Yeah. The build-up to Blackest Night, you know, post, post an Astro Corps War, it's a very coordinated and well-executed build-up to zombies i mean but <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then too it's like again you have to like we get, you know i'm sure they're under orders to weave at least some final crisis in there to you know between exactly. now and there There's yeah going on as well i mean it's and and the fact that they're able to juggle all that and do it so well for so long is just a testament to how how good they all you know how good a job they all did mm-hmm. so uh but yeah, so like I said, yeah, next week, well, next two weeks we'll be doing more Green Lantern Corps, so before we before we get to Secret Origin. Origin. And I'm really looking forward, I'm looking forward to the next few weeks of the Corps, you know, oh, obviously. Yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to rereading Secret Origin because I have not read it since I originally did 15 years ago. Is that what it was? 16 years ago at this point? <laughs> uh, but it, yeah, and it's like, it's... Like I like I said, this it, is it's been a while since I read these. These aren't like the Kyle Rayner issues where I've read them like a hundred times. So it's like, yeah, it's been a while since I read these. So it's kind of fresh for me too. I'm excited just to read all this I stuff. Think, yeah, because yeah. it's 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 as close as we can get, I think, to experiencing it for the first time again. You know? Yeah, exactly. Some of these I probably only read like once or twice. Yeah. Uh, no, I was just seeing what's coming up next because yeah, no one next week we'll do twenty three through twenty six. I think that's the rest of Ring Quest, and then. uh the week after is a two, just a two-parter. It's a high of the beholder, so. Ah. <laughs> Which is kind of on the nose because it looks like there's a giant eyeball on the cover of 27. Oh, nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so, yeah, they're not being subtle. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, oh, is that a, yeah. Yeah, because those are reprinted in Green Lantern Corps, Sins of the Star Sapphire. Oh, okay, cool. So, I was going to say the Star Sapphire show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the Green Lantern core book was trade only until Blackest Night, and then when Blackest Night hit, they went hardcover. Oh, uh, baby, yeah. I wonder if you, you know, if you have to sell so many books or something to get up the hardcover treatment, or I don't know. I mean, I I was wondering too because you know um, the Green Lanterns book, you know, which was Rebirth, and Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern core, which was Rebirth. Those don't have any hardcovers. They just have trades. Mm-hmm. But then you get to the Grant Morrison stuff. It's got hardcovers. And then you get to the Jeffrey Thorne one. It only has trades. <laughs> and now we're back to the Jeremy Adams, which I hope gets hardcovers. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <sighs> all right. So anything else on these, Will? <laughs> That's about all I got. <laughs> Again, it wasn't bad. It's just, you know, we got, cut, you know, Ring Quest kind of gets cut off after the first part, and then you get this two part filler. So, I mean, again, not bad, but kind of uh, throw, throw, throws the pace weird, off a little bit. Yeah, weird, uh, weird publishing order. Yes. Like I said, I wonder if they were kind of like, well, again, like we were both saying, it's like, you know, Final Crisis, they got to hit that. So it's like, Okay, we got to slow down because we got to get the final crisis, and then they're maybe they're trying to get all their ducks in a row for uh, once Blackest Night starts. It's like okay, so there's a definite order, you know. It's like yeah, and then they I guess they try to clean it up for the you know the trade collections. Yes, um, I'm looking up Final Crisis Rage of the Red Lanterns. Rage. Okay, that looks like it was released in December of 2008. Yeah, I uh, yeah, we'll get to that like two weeks after uh, Secret Origins. So. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. So yeah, it happened. I guess it happened earlier than I thought it did. Then so okay, cool, very cool. Yeah, because I think yeah, like should, like final. Yeah, because I think Final Crisis was like the event of two thousand eight, and then two thousand nine, Blackest Night. 
There we go. Which I, I I don't think there was much of a gap between them. So I think we're starting to get they were starting to get to the modern uh, thing. It's like okay, well, one's about to end. Let's rev up the next event. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got. Let's rev up the next two. <laughs> yeah. Especially, it's like, oh, well, with zombies? Well, everyone can have zombies. Yeah. <laughs> As you'll see, starting in January, kids, there's going to be a lot of crossovers. There'll be a lot of zombies in January. Lots of crossovers. <laughs> and, and I and I, I have to say this again, because whoever had the idea to resurrect. Oh, yes. Bring back a single issue, a, a zombie issue. Yes. Of canceled title. Yes genius that is like <laughs> just brilliant yes <laughs> all right so are we done here you bet all right <laughs> all right kids so yes yeah, so uh yeah send us your thoughts because next week how oh, did i just close out schedule all right but yeah next week will be uh green lantern uh core 23 through 26 uh we'll fit we'll get the rest of the ring quest and then in two weeks that's just like i said it's just a quick two-parter 27 and 28 eye of the beholder and then we'll get to secret origin which we uh, uh chopped into two episodes because it is yeah seven issues as will said uh so yeah so send us your thoughts as we're fast approaching episode 150 and then uh the episode after that final or uh yeah blackest night see i almost mixed up i almost said almost said final night <laughs> Final, well, final, cri- final crisis and blackest <laughs> night. I was like, oh, final night. <laughs> that takes us back. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, before we get to blackest night, we'll get to not so final crisis. All right, kids. <laughs> Send us your thoughts. Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember, you can find all things uh, Capes and Lunatics, episodes, social media, merchandise, the Patreon. Uh, we can find, uh, who knows, every month it could be something different. Like for the month of October, Lilith and I will be ranking Scream Queens uh, for Halloween. So check that out. Uh, find it all at tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. That's tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. All right, Mr. Will Allred, master of the core, master of the quantum zone, master of Kickstarter comics and podcasting. Where can people get a hold of you? Uh, you can find me uh, at Walred. Uh, that's at W-A-L-L-R-E-D at Gmail and Twitter. I still call it Twitter and Facebook and Blue Sky and other stuff out there somewhere, too. Uh, if you'd like to read the comics that I write, uh, you can uh, check out Crossover Division at crossoverdivision.com. And you can also check out uh, Diary of Night at diaryofnight.com. And you're here hanging with Phil and I, which means mm-hmm. you obviously have a really great taste. So that means you probably love Marvel's Quasar almost as much as Phil and I love Marvel's Quasar. If you'd like to find out more about Quasar, you can do that at the Quantum Zone, quantumzone.org. Hey, you boys, you look at the party? I love the party. Yes, and if you want to listen to the Quantum Zone, where most of the, his drops came from, yes, uh, easiest way, go to the Capes and Lunatics uh, YouTube channel, and there's a whole Quantum Zone uh, playlist. Uh, over 150 episodes, kids. That's right. We're we're approaching the Quantum Zone. Yes, level. exactly. <laughs> yes. By like by like January, we'll be uh, by January or February, we'll have like surpassed Quantum Zone numbers. Yeah, that's pretty darn impressive. I know. <laughs> He goes limp in my grip. I hope it's going somewhere nice. Of course, you know where I'm going, kids. They aren't even attempting to enter our orifices. <laughs> those reads, man. Those live reads. Yeah. <laughs> I, of course, love how Jordan. I do. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, kids. Thanks for joining us again. Next week, more Green Lantern Corps, 23 through 26, Ring Quest, and then two weeks, Eye of the Beholder. 27 and issue 27 and 28 and then in three weeks get to another one of Will's favorites Secret Origin Secret Origin we'll flash back for two weeks with Hal Jordan and Sinestro Atrocitus oh yeah <laughs> little Aubin sir oh yeah I, I forget I, like I said it's been a while since I read that man I can't believe more good stuff <laughs> coming kids alright Join us next time, and remember, get yourself to Oa, where everyone knows your name. They're always glad you came. Good night.
Nice.